this is a great chance for you to, if you're a trader, to finally take vacation, guys. And <laughs> Uber slow day made a couple thousand dollars. But you think about this, guys. I mean, dude, we are so spoiled. Where in half an hour, you, you, if you make two thousand dollars in half an hour, it's a shitty day. Where the hell in the world is making two thousand dollars sitting on your fucking ass? <laughs> you know, a shitty day. Oh, only in trading do you do you hear people complain about making money, clicking buttons. And that's why I have to remind myself every day. Every day. The problem with traders is this, guys, is never enough. And that's why most traders do not make it. Most traders don't make it is because it's never enough for them. Okay? When is enough enough? That's a good question. It's like when you make 100 bucks, you want 200 bucks. When you make 1,000, you want 2,000. When you make 10,000. So always remember where you came from. Always remember that how many years ago... You wish you could be even trading. You wish you can just make 500 bucks an entire day working at a nine to five. And for for those that are making $1,000 and calling it a shitty slow day, I mean, there's something wrong with your head, right guys? We are way too spoiled, we are all this. So this is the mentality that you need to remember if you want to survive the next, in my opinion, next few years. Because what's going to happen is this, guys. Whoa, what's going on? I thought the main camera. Um, what's going to happen is this, guys. It's going to get very difficult for you. Most of you guys are not going to make it. The bear markets are coming. How many guys are still around during the bear market times, guys? I don't see many people. And the reason I made it is because I kept my ego in check. I was okay with taking... $100 days or not even working. You have to basically be okay. This is why you see all the pumpers that do not know what they're doing losing their ass. They make money and they lose it completely because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're never fucking happy. These markets are not difficult, guys. They're not fucking difficult. I, I think I had one, maybe one red day in the entire year. I mean, dude, you know, and it's a small one, you know? We're almost a month in. I made two thousand bucks today. To me, that's I mean, and I'm thinking to myself, that's a fucking shitty day, because I. Mean, but it's not a shitty day. It's only shitty is because I made it so stress free, guys, so stress free that it didn't feel as if I earned it. How many times have you fought an entire day? You're fucking upside down on a stock, and then you break even. You feel fucking accomplished. You're like, oh my god, dude, I worked my ass off. So sometimes traders take for granted the fact that. It's way too fucking easy. And when things are too easy, you, you start to think, maybe I can make more. Maybe, maybe I can make more. And so you, you press yourself to the point where, you know, you feel like you have to earn it. And that's the wrong mentality, guys. That's the wrong fucking mentality. Uh, remember why you trade. You trade for many different reasons. To help your family, financial freedom, whatever the hell it may be, right, guys? Never forget that. At some point, you're going to become, maybe you're here now. Okay, I don't know how else to say, guys. I I am seeing people blow up left and right. Uh, pumpers right now are losing their ass off because they're comparing themselves to how the markets were last year, or the year before, when things were hell easy. No one's gonna fuck you. You're, you're gonna see people blow up left and right. I'm telling you right now. When the market starts to go down, people are gonna blow up because the reason why is because of this, guys. Markets are not difficult. Markets are not difficult. But it's very unforgiving right now. There is no opportunity. If you fuck up, if you have bad habits, you will blow up. There is no recovery. Some of these stocks will never fucking bounce ever, ever again. If you do not have proper risk management, you keep adding to zero, it will go down to zero. Look at the charts from 2008. Look at the NASDAQ during the dot-com bubble. You will lose your entire fucking fortune. And people are already losing their entire fortunes. I've seen guys down... Fucking five million dollars in six months, since six months ago, you know, things like that. Because they think the market's gonna have to fucking go back. And so these markets are not difficult, guys. They are, what they are is very unforgiving, okay? You screw up, it's game over, okay? This is why I'm being very, very extra careful 
that I don't fucking just step into any stupid things. Because the, the days, the easy days are over. People are fucking not getting bailed out anymore, guys. So, so I'm telling you right now, the bad habits are going to catch up to you. And so I'm sitting in my hotel room. I'm like, dude, I'm up two grand. Here, let me show, show you. <laughs> I, I started an educational account. Just to fucking show you this year. Because this year, it, people are going to have trouble. And so this educational account started with $25,000 this year. We are now at forty six, forty seven thousand in three weeks. I didn't make much money, but what I did was, you know what, man? These things add up every fucking day. And this is a small account that anybody can do, guys. It started with $25,000. Take a look at this. If you do $1,000 a day, and this is, to me, pretty damn slow, shitty market, right? And I'm able to do that with a 25. I trade with multiple accounts, by the way, guys. I have a bigger account. Obviously, I make more than this, but um, it doesn't matter what it is. But my point is like, dude, even $1,000 a day is this. This is not a shitty fucking <laughs> income, guys. This is off of a $25,000 account. And we're not telling you to quit your day job. We are telling you to supplement your income. Keep your day job. All these guys are trying to tell you to quit your job. Do not fucking quit your job. They are going, <laughs> they're going to fucking regret it right now. When things are going bad, you need, you know, don't quit your job until the opportunity comes where you're losing more money by not trading than going to work. And I'm pretty damn sure you guys are going to take a long time before that, that, that happens, guys. So. I mean, dude, keep your fucking job and you can do this. I mean, this is a real, I did this on purpose this year because last year, a lot of people made a ton of money. This year, people are fucking struggling, okay? And I'm saying we started with 25,000 on this educational account. I want to show you, keep building it up, okay? Beginning of the, beginning of the year was much more active, but think about this. We, we almost doubled the account. It's, this is realistic trading, guys. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, this is this uh, everybody wants to fucking be the king kong and no one wants to help the normal guys and i'm telling you these king kong guys are all fake alex and i talked about this morning these guys are all fucking fake <laughs> because you know how i know they're fake their lifestyle does not match what they're making if you are a big king kong guy you <laughs> you don't be fucking bragging all day and night you don't see people brag right but it, it doesn't fucking matter the truth is going to come out this year when things get tough. Who's going to be around? I know people blowing up left and right. Millions of dollars, guys. Um, so with that in mind, I want to... Because I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel, I'm like, dude, I'm sitting here and I'm like, fucking hell, it's a slow-ass day. And then look at my p and like, I'm up like a couple thousand bucks. Right? I'm like, dude, that's fucking a great day. Um, but anyways, if you're serious about trading, guys, we have a meetup next Saturday. Register, go, and dude, <laughs> the the days of gambling, meme stocks, AMC, those stocks, game over. Those guys are all gonna get bankrupt, and they're already starting to get bankrupt, guys. So, uh, I'm being very serious on this because you know what? I'm just sitting here, and I'm, I, I I do this to remind myself, guys, to keep myself fucking humble. Alex keeps a stack of ones in his office to remind people how much a dollar goes a long way guys and here i am sitting in my fucking room in a hotel because I, I visited my family because it was my son's birthday this past weekend so uh, and i'm like dude let's, let's stick around a couple more days right so and here i am in a fucking hotel trading one hour <laughs> fell asleep at the keyboard <laughs> and thinking to myself dude i remember <laughs> you know when I graduated college, my goal was just to fucking make, you know, a hundred grand by the time I was 30 years old. So my goal when I graduated college was to make a hundred grand by the time I'm 30 years old. <laughs> there are days when I trade, I make that over that in one day, right guys? So, I mean, so we are blessed as fuck. It, we just have to humble ourselves. And if you humble yourself, I guarantee you, you will succeed. It is the greedy people that is going to blow up in these markets. 
Uh, anything I'm missing, Alex? Because uh, I really don't know what to talk about. How to trade in the bear market? Oh, yeah. So number one, you have to understand that bad habits will catch up to you. And you see it already, man. Some of these stocks, they're just going to fucking blow you up. So you have to have good... You basically have to be very disciplined and be okay with just taking what the market gives you. You know, and putting risk in control and all this kind of stuff. Better yet, just fucking take off. If, if, if you see there's nothing moving, just just take off. Don't sit around and, and fucking try to find a trade. Uh, I, I only trade a few stocks a day, and that's all you need. Let me see. Any questions, guys? Trading a bear market is the same thing as trading on a fucking normal market. There's no fucking difference, guys. The difference is there's less opportunities. You know, there's lots. How many stocks went up today, Alex? Not many stocks went up today. But those stocks that went up, I made money and I posted my chart on Twitter, guys. And take a look. There's always opportunity if you're patient enough. Okay? You have to take what the market is. You know, today, I got a few trades and that's all I needed to make that money, right? So... When the opportunity comes, we will size up. But until then, grind, man. There's nothing wrong with grinding $100, $1,000, $2,000 a day. So you're serious about trading, guys. Next Saturday, we have the meetup. I don't know what else to say. We will talk about the bear markets. We'll talk about all the stuff. Because, you know, man, this came at the perfect fucking time. Yesterday, man, people sold at the bottom. I know guys got liquidated because they're over leveraged. So do not over leverage, guys. Uh, do not think that the market has to go up. Look at crypto. Crypto has killed a lot of people right now. Any questions, guys? What are your size limits today? Why does that fucking even matter, bro? It depends on the stock, right? I hate talking about size. Like, why, why do you care? You want to take a look at my penis size? I, I have no idea why you ask these questions. First of all, size don't mean anything. I could... I could be trading an $80 stock. I could be trading an 80 cent stock. Size is irrelevant. So I'm sitting here. I'm very, I'm, I, I'm, I'm like, dude, I, I don't know what to, to do anymore to help you guys. Cause, <laughs> cause I'm like, man, we are all frustrated. We're tired as hell. And today I'm just laughing at the fact that a pumper, you know, he, he, all his trades, every single trade was fucking red. He's down like $36,000, $37,000. And, and it's like, he doesn't understand why. It's just funny because I'm like, dude, these are not the same market conditions. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like, dude, you can't just be randomly pumping random shit anymore. It doesn't work anymore. Remember, guys, this is not a difficult market. I still make money pretty much every day in this year. Same as Alex. You know, it's not difficult. It's just unforgiving and not many opportunities. Fucking, would you pivot to NFT? What the fuck? NFTs to a bear market. Dude, NFTs just got started. What, what do you want me to, in a bear market? People are not making fucking money. You think they're going to be paying half a million dollars for a fucking picture of a monkey? You're going to see very soon. Crypto has tanked. That monkey is worth half of what it's worth now. Or a third because of... Or two thirds. Because Ethereum went down a lot. You will fucking see. So I'll take a few more questions, guys. And uh, I'm seeing what, if I miss anything out. Alex, how to trade the bear markets, guys. It's the same fucking thing. I, I don't see any difference, guys. The only difference is you have to be more disciplined. You have to be more patient. And you have to be realistic with your expectations of how much these stocks will run up or down. Because the volume is less. It's just in order for you to have big days, these stocks have to have big range. So a lot of the times, there's no more range on these stocks. Doesn't mean you size up to make the fact... You don't size up, guys. 
you trade the same. You just, you know, you just got to be happy with what the market and what your process gives you. Do you trade SPY? I don't trade SPY. I trade what? So this is a good question, guys. I trade my niche, which is small caps. So when days that there are no small cap runners I like, I don't just randomly pull up the SPY chart and start trading like a junkie. I do not deviate from my strategy. The reason is like if I'm 90% effective on my niche, why the hell am I going out and, and, and battling Mike Tyson in a market I don't understand, such as the futures, right? The reason why I go small cast is there's less competition, in my opinion. Uh, the spy are smart ass people with billions of dollars. How can I compete with that? So you find your edge, you find your niche, guys, and then you stick to it. And it doesn't mean that you stop trading and learning, okay? I, I started as a long bias trader. I started as a penny stock trader. And now I do shorting. I do So along the way, you add to your toolbox you add to your playbook and then over time you become a well well experienced or well uh, like around uh trader right so just such as like i'll give you an example like golfing some guys are great drivers they get strong but they can't putt for shit so they, they there's a saying like um uh, drive for show putt for dough drive for show putt for dough and over time, you know, you, you developed your 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 short game, your long game, your middle clubs game, your irons and all that, guys. Because you cannot win, you cannot win a, a PGA golfing major unless you're well-rounded. Just because you, you hit the ball the longest doesn't mean you're going to win the tournament. You have to have the entire package. Same thing with trading, guys. You start with one thing. I just didn't wake up one day and say, hey, I can do this. It started, you know, one building block at a time, one foot at a time. Any other questions? What, what am I missing, Alex? I just want to keep it short and sweet today because, you know what, man? Uh, not much moving, but doesn't mean I'm going to pretty much end my day right now because I know what's going to happen, man. I'm going to sit around. I sit around. I'm going to get bored. And then I'm going to use the cushion game. I'm like, hey, I'm up today. Why don't I just gamble? And next you know, dude, I, I just ruined my entire day because... I was not happy with what the results that I did. I always wanted more. You make, trading is, is the profession where there's no end game. People say it's a marathon, not a sprint. But this is a marathon with no finish line. You determine what the finish line is. You can run and run and run for fucking ever. And that's the problem with a lot of these guys. Not, it's never good enough. Sometimes you, you have to close the laptop. And you have to be finished. Okay? And that's how you make your money. You keep your money. Making money is not that hard, in my opinion. Keeping the money is very difficult. Keeping the money, having the discipline not to go back and overtrade. Cool, guys? Anything I'm missing, Alex? I'm sorry. Uh, you want to come on? Or... That's it, guys. That's, that's pretty much... It, <laughs> tomorrow, I think, we, uh, I don't know if we have a, a webinar tomorrow, because uh, Tosh is a little sick, you know, so, but um, if he's not, if he's well, then we'll do it, but, you know, otherwise, we're going to have to cancel it tomorrow, unless uh, he's, Tosh gets better, so, but in the meantime, if you want to, if you want to join the meetup, go to our website, myinvestingclub.com slash meetup, this is your opportunity, guys, we have almost 200 people registered, there's security, there's all this stuff, so, this, this is your opportunity, guys, to finally, finally meet real traders. No bullshit, guys. No fucking bullshit. All right, guys. We'll see you at the meetup on Saturday. Okay, guys? Don't, don't miss this event, guys. No mass needed nothing because we're doing this at the park. All right, guys. We'll see you then.